In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use your external hard drive. I'm going to show you how to properly eject it, how you can properly store your videos and footage on it, and even make it compatible with your computer. Just because when you open up one of these, they're not always compatible with your Mac, Windows, PC, or whatever you're actually trying to use. Now, the first thing you need to know about these, if you don't already know what it is, is it's basically just an external hard drive. This is basically just a portable box that has multiple terabytes on it. So you can actually store files on it and you can actually easily transfer them or just plug it into multiple different computers if you do want to view any of these files just across multiple different desktops. And the main reason you might have one of these is just because your own computer might not have enough storage for what you're trying to store on one of these, and especially if you're trying to keep files on something long term, like one of these. But all we're going to need to do to use one of these is you simply first want to plug it into your computer or monitor. You can see right here I have an extension on mine. Just because the external hard drive that I am using does not have a USB-C port, this doesn't matter you can use it with an extension just keep in mind some extensions may slow down the speed that you move some of these files or just do any work on this in general but once you've actually plugged it into the side of your computer you actually see it just pop up on the screen like so and all we're gonna need to do to open it is if it allows you to do so is you just want to double tap on the file if it doesn't allow you to open it I'll show you how to fix that in a later chapter in this video but you double tap on it and you can basically drag and drop any files on it it'll basically automatically make a copy of to that hard drive that you've dragged your files to where you can actually view and save all of them right here you can see this one has two terabytes you can just click on it and then click on space if you want to view how much is used or how much is actually available still but if it is not compatible what you want to do to actually fix that is you simply want to go into your disk memory of your mac or settings just on another computer and once you're in your disk memory you're basically just going to want to go down and then click on your hard drive on the screen like so and you can see right here it shows you how much you've actually used or how much you actually have free on this thing and basically if you want to make it compatible you want to first click on the race option up here if it is a brand new hard drive or if it's just not compatible in general and then you can actually give it a new name and then you just want to open up this drop down right here and then click on the x fat option this will actually make it compatible with every computer you cannot put a password on it unfortunately but if you do want to use one of these just because it doesn't allow you to drag and drop any of these files you do have to put it on this option and then click on the race option and that will allow you to do it. Now in this case, I have already erased mine. So mine is already compatible with my computer and all the computers that I'm using. So I'm good to go on that. But once you've done that, you should be good to go and it should allow you to simply open the hard drive and view and drag and drop files onto it on your computer. Now, if you wish to delete files on it, all you're gonna need to do is you simply open up your hard drive and then you can just simply delete them. You can right click on them or you can just hold control delete to delete any of the files files that you wish to and if you want to properly eject it this is how you properly eject it which is really important when it comes to not corrupting any of these files that you may have on your hard drive is instead of just unplugging it straight from your computer this is something you absolutely shouldn't do just because files can get corrupted or just fall apart it has happened before so I recommend not doing that what you're going to want to do is you just want to right click on the hard drive just on your computer and then you want to click on the eject option and once you click on the eject option you have the safe ability to just unplug it straight from your computer and that's how you properly eject it it's okay if you unplug it if you're in a rush or something but it's better just to have the practice of right clicking on it and clicking eject if you found this video helpful please consider leaving a like on it down below and subscribing to the channel if you're new thank you so much for watching